Hey again everyone, I wanted to do a quick uh, garden update for you. Um, it's been a couple of weeks, well about three weeks I guess since I've done a, an update video on the garden. Today is Friday, June, tw uh, June 12th, sorry, <laughs> and everything is just really coming along nicely. Um, this is my square foot garden. I'll get a, um, a wide out shot at the end of it. But I wanted to show you close up everything. If you remember from a few weeks ago, um, everything is just really coming along nicely. Um, the broccoli is just about done. We're still getting some side shoots from that. But um, we'll probably be pulling those in the next couple of weeks. The Brussels sprouts are coming along nicely. They have some little tiny Brussels sprouts. I hope you can see them. My favorite. I love Brussels sprouts. Uh, we have some bell peppers here with some peppers on them. You can see that nice one there. Um, it's not quite as long as my finger yet. And this is an orange bell pepper. So um, I'm hoping to get this in the next couple of weeks. And that's a yellow bell, and that's a red bell over there. The lettuce in that square is gone. We, um, we ate all of that. My Swiss chard is doing nicely. We've been eating some of that all along. My onions are, oops, sorry. The peppers are getting in the way. The onions are coming along too. Um, probably mid-July is when we'll be getting these. And we've been eating kale salads nearly every day. I'm going to um, be making some kale chips with those. Here's some more Swiss chard. I haven't harvested any of this yet because I want it to get a little bit bigger. And since we have so many other kinds of greens right now, I don't really need to. These will be great in the summertime, in the hot part of the summertime when the um, kale is done and all of the lettuce is done. These were the two squares that my spinach was in. Uh, we pulled all of those and we're probably just going to leave these open for a while and I'm not sure what we're going to put in there yet. My mini eggplant is full of blooms. It also has some insect damage to the leaves, but I think it's going to be okay. I'm just really excited about this one. Um, here is some lettuce mescaline mix. I clipped all of this off um, a couple of days ago to the ground and um, I don't know if it's going to come back or not. We'll see. If it does, we'll eat more lettuce. If it doesn't, I'll pull it up. I have some green beans here with some babies on them and some lima beans. I've pulled a few carrots, not very many. I want them to get a lot bigger, but they're looking pretty good. I've pulled a few beets. There's some more carrots. And then if you can see my biggest onion right there, it's about two inches in diameter. And then here are my tomatoes. I'm gonna get a little bit of a wider shot on these. Let's see if you can see from here. That's better. Um, I have some Bradley tomatoes here and here and here. <laughs> and then cherry tomatoes here. We've already been getting some cherry tomatoes, so we're really excited. And these are Lemon Boy tomatoes here on the end. And I picked the first one of those a couple of days ago because it was just starting to turn yellow, but it was smashed up against the um, the uh, cage and two or three other tomatoes so I didn't want it to I wanted it to have plenty of room so I went ahead and picked it and it's still ripening in the house all right and there's some basil it looked like it was trying to go to seed so I just pulled that off love fresh basil 
you can see I have some, hopefully you can see that, I have some cherry tomatoes ripening. I have a few in the house for salads, so I'm just going to leave those on here till they get really red. Okay, and here are some more tomatoes. These are the ones right up next to the deck with some gladiolas behind them that are starting to bloom. None of these tomatoes are um, ripening yet, but they are full of tomatoes. So I'm really excited about that. There's my little rubber tree plant that I thought had died, but it came back. Here are the potatoes. These are doing really well. Um, I thought I might try to dig down in here and see if we had any baby potatoes, but I think I might wait. Okay, now we take you over here. Went ahead and pulled these peas because they were done. These peas are just about done. Um, got a few more left on the vine and we'll probably go ahead and pull these um, this weekend because the ones that are left are um, almost ready to pick and you can see this down here is just dying so we'll probably pull these and um, might save this space for um, fall peas, but we're not really sure. We haven't really planned that far ahead. There is some celery that I started inside the house, and you can see how big it is. Yes, this is what happens when you regrow celery. I have a video on that on my channel so you can take a look at that um and there's some arugula right there it, we're gonna see how long it will last and here's my broccoli as you can see we're still getting some side shoots some babies i picked all of these um yesterday so you won't see any more uh good ones the brussels sprouts and i'm gonna do a video in just a few minutes um, on Brussels sprouts that you are not going to believe. <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. We've been getting a few beets from this garden as well and they are just delicious. I love them. These uh, tomatoes came in volunteer and uh, Ron transplanted them over here. Here's my poor little edamame. We have had a groundhog in our garden. Really upsetting. <laughs> uh, about a week ago, we found him in the garden and he ate all the top leaves off of the edamame plants. I think they're going to be okay because they were um, almost mature by the time he got them. So I'm hoping they will go ahead and puff on out. They've been um, they're full size and the, uh, the pods are full size. I'm sorry about that. My camera died and I'm going to have to make this quick because I don't have much juice left. Um, the beans inside the edamame need to puff up a little bit more and they are getting better so I'm hoping that the groundhog didn't destroy too much of the leaves so that they will come on back. Uh, I've got some kale down here underneath my um, zucchini plants that are doing really well. There's some more kale and Ron loves to plant marigolds in the garden. Um, they are really good about uh, pest deterrent, except for groundhogs. <laughs> and here are my four zucchini plants and a tomato in between. Um, these things just get huge. And I do have some baby zucchini. Let me see if I can find one to show you. There's one. I don't know if you can see it. There's another one on the other side. I'll try to get it um, over there and I'll show you. 
and then I have some beans here. I have red and white, red kidney beans and great northern beans on here. And this is another kind of squash. I'm not quite sure what this is. I think this came up volunteer. So we'll just have to see what kind of squash that is. I think it's from last year. And I have some cucumbers. I have pickling cucumbers and um, the larger size slicing cucumbers. And you can see I have some baby cukes. I'm excited. I want to make pickles. I only have a few jars left from last year. So let's see if I can show you this baby zucchini. Oh yeah, here are a couple of them. Can you see that? Hope you can. Yeah, I think so. Have a couple of them, yay! <laughs> you can see some more over here, so I'm really excited about these. And this is going to be the last thing that I show you since the camera is dying. Um, these are my peppers and tomatoes behind our shed. They are doing really well. In fact, one of them is starting to turn red. Actually, a couple of them are. So I'm just going to leave those on there till they turn red. Red peppers are my absolute favorite. Um, if you leave green peppers on the plant, they will turn red. And that's when they are the sweetest. And they are absolutely my favorite. I did, when, I did go ahead and pick one of the green ones because it was on a vine that was not very strong and I didn't want it to break. So I went ahead and picked it last week. And then here are some more tomatoes. Got a few on the I think this is the Ace 55 tomato here. We'll see when it comes in. Well, that's my garden update for today. Thank you so much for watching. Fly high, Pooh Bear. I knew I was forgetting something. I told you I would get a view of the square foot garden from the deck. Here it is, and there are the tomatoes. Aren't they pretty? I love coming out here every morning and seeing what's going on in the garden. If you'll remember our very first garden video back on in March, I think it was the 21st of March, um, you can see how far everything has come since then. Um, the lettuce up here is gone as well. I just haven't pulled the base of them up yet. I think I'm going to put some celery in there. I have some more beans that are blooming. These are um, pinto beans. These are pinto beans. These are black eyed peas. I don't think they're going to make it, but we'll see. And these are um, black beans. My lentils I don't think are going to make it. I think they got too wet. Um, here are my herbs. My thyme, my oregano, parsley, basil, and I planted some cilantro seed. There's a weed. Um, and they're finally coming in. And my rosemary. All right, that is it. Fly high, Pooh Bear.